Who doesn't love bread? It's a staple for people all over the world. But with so many varieties, shapes and sizes, it can be tricky to work out the carbs. Well, we've got you covered. Let's run through 10 common types and we'll reveal which bread has the highest amount of carbs at the end of the video. Hi, I'm Yellow and welcome to Carbs and Cows, the channel that helps you understand the food you eat so you can manage your diabetes and weight and lead a healthy lifestyle. If you are new to the channel, hit subscribe and the bell button for all the latest carb counting advice. Today we've got some top tips and key facts about carbs in 10 popular types of bread. So let's get started. A medium slice of bread, white, wholemeal or granary, contains around 15 grams of carbs and thicker slices contain around 20 grams. Remember to count the carbs in toast toppings like jam, marmalade, honey and chocolate spread as they can add a significant amount of carbs to your breakfast. While a small bat has around 25 grams of carbs, a large one has more than double that at 50 to 60 grams. If you're eating out, a typical burger bun has 40 grams of carbs and a hot dog roll around 20 grams. One inch of baguette equates to 10 grams of carbs. Useful to know when estimating the carbs in garlic bread slices or cutting a chunk of baguette. Due to their density, bagels have more carbs than you may think, at 50 grams. And even a bit more if it's a sweet or raisin bagel. Next we have some lunchtime favourites. Ciabattas and paninis have a typical carb content of around 50 grams. And a large tortilla used for fajitas, burritos and wraps contains around 35 grams of carbs. Remember to count the carbs in the fillings such as rice, beans, salsa, sweet sauces and chutneys. Chapatis and parathas are made in a variety of sizes, but a typical chapati comes in at 15 to 20 grams of carbs, and a paratha between 30 and 40 grams. Is a papadama type of bread? Yeah, why not? Small ones have 4 grams of carbs and large ones 7 grams. These may sound like low numbers, but try having just one papadam next time they are placed in front of you. They can be irresistible, especially if you've got the munchies waiting for that delicious curry to arrive and the carbs can soon add up. Chomp through three large poppadums and you've just added 20 grams of carbs to your meal. Plus, remember to add the carbs from the mango and sweet chutneys too. Pitta breads range from 20 grams of carbs for a mini, doubling to 40 grams for a standard size and nearly 50 grams of carbs for a big pitta. Useful to know for that Friday night kebab. You can see here that the majority of carbs in this kebab are coming from the pitta bread. But which type of bread has the highest carb content? All the varieties so far have ranged from 4 grams, like a small poppadom, to 60 grams, like this large bap. But there's one type that has even more. The 10th bread is an Indian takeaway favourite for sure. It is, of course, the naan bread. While a small one has 30 grams, a full-sized naan can have 70 grams of carbs or even more. So you may consider sharing your naan with your naan, if she happens to be there, or anyone else. Want to know the quickest way to estimate the carbs in bread? Simply half the weight of the bread. The number you get is roughly the amount of carbs it contains. So a piece of bread weighing 80 grams will have around 40 grams of carbs. And to get more fibre wherever possible, choose whole grain options, which can have double the fibre of white variety. This is an easy way to boost your fibre intake. All the foods shown today are from the Carbs and Cows Carb and Calorie Counter and World Foods books. Links to the full range of best-selling books are in the description below. So what type of bread do you love the most? I must admit, I'm partial to a crispy crumpet with nut butter and marmite. Share your bread favourites down in the comments. Lots more carb counting videos coming soon. Be sure to hit subscribe and press the bell button so you don't miss any tips. Head over to the website to download our 50 free PDFs for diabetes, weight loss and carb counting to get you started, which includes a PDF all about bread. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.